from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Private locomotive and rail operation Traction last month showcased its new maintenance and refurbishment facility in Roslyn as part of the company's plans to increase its capacity to provide locomotive rebuild and overhaul services for Africa. Simone Lietke, who attended the event, tells us more. The traction facility, which CEO James Holly believes to be the first of its size in Africa, is on the third phase of its planned eight-phase development, with 68 million rand having been invested to date. The facility will see a total investment of 130 million once all phases have been completed. In speaking to Engineering News on the day of the showcase, Holly tells us a bit about the rationale behind embarking on this new investment. We established this facility because um, our previous workshops, which were based in Ranfontein, had the capacity to only do three locomotives at any time, which was only just about enough capacity for us to continue the refurbishment, the ongoing refurbishment programs for our own fleet. So we firstly needed this facility in order to be able to start to provide locomotive refurbishment and service, um, services to the market, um, and, um, and then also with the view to our own expansion. Um, we see a big opportunity um, opening up in the region, in rail infrastructure, and the requirement for um, a really strong private operator in the region. And as a consequence, we do foresee a lot of growth in our own fleet. And with that growth coming in our own fleet, we also needed this facility um, to be able to grow the refurbishments that we needed to do into our own fleet, as well as for the third party market. During the tour of the facility, Holly elaborated on some of the facility's capabilities, adding that in future, three additional rail lines will be added to further increase the facility's capacity. Once done, this will increase the facility's rail lines from five to eight. The extra railway lines really will add um, capacity to the workshops. At the moment, we've got capacity to work on 15 locomotives in refurbishment at any time, which we believe is the biggest private locomotive refurbishment uh, services centre in the continent. So we're not planning to, to, to have to add that capacity at any stage soon. That 15 locomotives is a lot of capacity, so we think that's enough for now. However, despite the intended increased capacity for the maintenance and refurbishment facility, Holly emphasised that the manufacturing of locomotives or key component parts are not on the cards for the Rosalind based facility. We will be only focused on refurbishment and that's for a very specific uh, reason. Um, we, we take the uh, relationships that we have with our stakeholders very seriously. We've worked for a very long time with uh, OEMs like General Electric and uh, EMD or, or uh, Electromotive Diesel. And um, that's a relationship that goes back about 30 years. About 95% of our fleet is made up of their locomotives. So, and they are manufacturers. And uh, we, so we're not planning at any stage to manufacture locomotives or manufacture key component parts. And just like that applies to, to, to the manufacturer of locomotives, it also applies to the manufacturers of key component parts, like brake systems. We're not planning to, to get into manufacture at all. Um, this is a service center. And, um, and we've set this, this facility up as a services center. So our cranage, for example, is enough to pick up key component parts, not pick up whole locomotives, which is an important part of uh, locomotive assembly and manufacture. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.